even shifted she's really comfortable I think I already said that though but oh well, I repeated myself <laughs> I'm human <laughs> Hello there, wake friends. I am Nikki and welcome to my channel. However, if you are regulars, then I can say welcome back. But if you are new, please join the party as I always say by clicking the subscribe button because I never know exactly when I'm gonna throw an upload at you and I would hate for you to miss them. So subscribing, problem solved. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I greatly do appreciate it. Well, you pretty much know I have another wig review for you guys today. I have a ton of them to get through. I do have more content coming though, rest assured, but again, I have lots of wigs to review. So today I'm going to be telling you all about this girl. Please in return, go down in the comments and give me your respectful feedback. I do take requests. I can't make any guarantees though, but I promise I will look into it for you. Just put it down in the comments what wig you would like me to review. And uh, don't forget to check out my Poshmark closet. I have a lot of wigs for sale in there and I add new ones to it often. You'll be able to find the link to my Poshmark closet in the description box. So enough said, let's get on with this review. Today I have a wig from Main Concept. She is in the style Presley and she is from the HD Tea Park collection. I have her in the color SH4 slash 27, which is the same color you see on the stock card model right there. She only comes available in a total of eight colors altogether. I wish it was a better color selection, but that is just my opinion on the matter. Uh, some of her features include a four inch deep parting space with baby hair, skin melted lace, and she is heat safe to some degree. I picked her up from Hair Stop and Shop for $42.85. So, voila, here she is right out of the box. So uh, I always show you the lace and cap construction first. So for the lace, there is that. Good transparency. You can already see those baby hairs right there on the inside. First off, here's her parting space there. She has one comb on each side of the part, so real close to it here and here. Plus she has one comb in the back. In the back are also her adjustable straps. She has the weft type of lining going on and I guess she stretches okay. Not <laughs> the greatest. The cap looks to be about average, you know, medium size. So I'm not sure if she's going to be larger head friendly or not. I will know more once I have her on. So let me go put her on and then I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I hope you are ready. We're talking all about Miss Presley today. And I always start off first by showing you what I'm wearing for my eyeshadow look. Today, I am wearing the Serenity palette from Cosmic Brushes. Here are the shades. It's a really good palette, by the way. If you have not tried it yet, I highly recommend you do so. All right, so Miss Presley here. Now, those of you who know me already are aware that Outre is my all-time favorite wig company, has been for quite some time now, but main concept is creeping in there and may take over, especially if they keep dropping wigs like this, which by the way, Presley is a new drop and they're just coming out with so many amazing styles and I just can't get enough of them, which is why I keep picking them up, but 
Anyway, I love this look, really do. I think it's a great work style, a great daily style, and I'll tell you all the reasons why as we go on here, but starting off, she's about 20 inches long. I think that's great. She has a little bit of layering here, but not a whole lot. Just very a small amount of layers, which sometimes can make the wig be a bit too voluminous and overwhelming, but thankfully her density is perfect to go along with it. And just look at these gorgeous curls. I love this pattern, these beautiful barrel spirals. And of course I have to do the little bounce test here so you can see her body and movement. It's just very lightweight, it just bounces back. I really love it, really love it. Um, now I am wearing her down the center as you can see. And if you noticed on the stock photo, she's worn as a right-sided part. So she is shiftable. Love that versatility, but just my aesthetic lately is a center part. And also because the parting space itself is straight rather than curved, that's mainly the reason why I wore her down the center today. But you can wear her however you want. She's going to look great regardless and very comfortable to wear regardless too. Um, this color is one I've tried a million times before. It's kind of my go-to color with main concept, especially when they don't give you too many to pick from, like I showed you. Um, but it's a color you can't really go wrong with, in my opinion. I really love this deep chocolate number four. And then the 27 highlights are very slight, so sometimes they're a little hard to see. It just depends on the style, too. So with her, they're more prominent, like in the curls here. You can kind of see them swirled in there a little bit. Maybe you can't, but trust me, they're there. <laughs> but overall, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And you can see that luster is stunning and looks very healthy. Um, with her texture, I would say it's more silky than anything else, but thankfully there's a slight bit of coarseness, which is what you want in a silky unit, just so that way it feels more realistic. So I do feel that. And she's feeling super soft and like, deep conditioned and healthy. And plus also in my opinion, I think she is multicultural. But we gotta see what she looks like from the back. I don't mind her down the back. However, with the style, she's one I'm more apt to wear all to the front. Again, just a personal preference of mine. And why I think she's a great daily and work style is she's so easy to manage. I mean, look at this. I am using only my fingers to kind of comb through her. I wouldn't recommend a brush, just a wide tooth comb or your fingers to do that. But I'm not really getting much tangling. I mean, look at this. My fingers just pretty much glide right through. And um, the small amount of tangles I did encounter actually came out very easily. And look at that. She just bounces right back. Very, very low maintenance, and that is amazing, especially when you're on the go or whatnot. And you, last thing you want to do is constantly be looking in the mirror and tidying up your hair. She's pretty much just a plop on your head and be done for the day. Um, shedding is very minimal as well, practically non-existent at this point, so I have no complaints with that either. Um, now, as I already mentioned, you can shift her, but I do love this parting space. Uh, it's four inches. So this depth and width is great. It is pre-plucked, so I didn't have to do anything to it other than just add the powder. And look how flat she's laying. That's amazing. And these baby hairs, I absolutely am in love with these baby hairs. I know some people can't stand them, so just Cut them off if you hate them. <laughs> I totally could understand that. But um, I think that if you uh, we lay these down, that's going to look great too and be easy to work with. But to me, this is how I like to wear them, and it looks super natural in my opinion. So I love this hairline right here. Uh, of course, she also has a skin tone adapting lace, so that really helps with blending. And uh, the only real complaint I have with her are her edges, and this is why. Now, she's not pre-plucked, which is fine. It doesn't advertise as uh, being pre-plucked, but you can see the thickness there. It's this here. They're not really fitting. I mean, she's not really fitting perfectly around my natural edges here. So at least I can use my own baby hair that's close enough in color, but 
I do wish that it kind of covered it up a little bit more, especially um, if your natural hair is a little bit lighter or whatnot. So then that way it looks more natural. But um, thankfully this style covers it up mostly. You just have to be a little bit careful. Uh, lift up is pretty minimal too. But otherwise she's fitting really good and she is comfortable. Even shifted, she's really comfortable. I think I already said that though, but oh well, I repeated myself. <laughs> I'm human. Uh, so anyway, she is uh, fitting that way. I mean, very comfortable to wear. And I still actually think she's larger head friendly. I didn't think so in the beginning, but now that I have her on, my opinion on that matter has changed. So yeah. If you don't mind the edges, I think this is a great wig. So I am recommending her. Yeah, thumbs up all the way. This is a beautiful unit. She's fun. She's got a little class to her as well. <sighs> I'm just happy. So if I'm happy, I hope you'll be happy too. So that's how I feel about Ms. Presley. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have her already, please tell me all about it. And if you decide to go get her after watching this review, I would love to know that as well. But that is all I have for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time in my next video. So until then, bye-bye.